All right, it's a Monday night here. It's a Niners Monday night. A little Niners football. What we got tonight? What's going on? Niners! So Niners season's been a real rocky one. I'm a diehard Niners fan. You probably know that already if you follow me at all on any type of social media. Very good professional wrestler. How are you a Niners fan? You grew up in New Jersey. Yeah, well, I grew up in the 80s also, you know, when the Niners were the team in a decade. Yeah. And what, bro? Right here. Yeah, you can put that right there. That's good. Oh, he's got his helmet up there with my helmet. Nice, I dig it. Yeah, but I grew up in the 80s watching Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice, the original workhorse, right? The hardest working football player in the history of football players. Maybe where I get a little bit of my drive and determination. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe. We've been banged up. People don't follow football very well. I have 27 different players on IR. That's the injured reserve. That means 27 of our 50-some-odd players have been out for a couple games at a time. Hold on, bud. So we went from a team that almost won the Super Bowl last year to a real bad team this year just based off of injuries. Today we get a bunch of players back, get Debo Samuel back, Brandon Ayuk back, we get uh, Raheem Moster back, we get all kind of players back. So, so, a lot of people picking the Niners over the Bills today. Bills are a real good team. Uh, me and my little dude gonna play some football, then we're gonna get fired up for this game, and watch it, we're gonna do some check-ins during the game, but this is Monday football time. Usually if this is a Sunday Niners game, there's a couple Niners fans over here. But Mondays are hard to get the crew together. So uh, we're just gonna hang out, me, little man. Uh, Mama Bear, she's a Cowboys fan, so she don't really care too much, but she might come down and hang out, have a drink or two. She's a Twisted Tea fan, maybe a Twisted Tea. Little guy's ready to play some football, though. So I'm gonna go play football with him. He's gonna give you a let's go Niners, baby! Let's go Niners, baby! Yeah! Teach him young, yeah. teach him young. About to be kickoff, folks. Let's see, got some more Niners. Let's get all the Niners love in here. All the Niners love, Niners love, Niners love, Niners love. There's a kickoff, baby, let's go! Oh, kickoffs aren't really excited anymore. They do a touchback every time. Every time, touchback, nobody ever returns. I don't even know why you put a guy back there. I guess you have to or they kick it there, but. Game started. Niners up. What do we got? We got the pig over here. I know I showed you the pig already. Look, now you know what you might not have seen? We got the Christmas tree up now. Niners, Christmas tree. Niners, Christmas tree. Little Steve Young up there. Little Joe Montana there. We got Jerry Rice on here somewhere. Where you at, Jerry? Oh, we gotta find where Jerry is. He ain't on there. We gotta talk to mommy about that. We're gonna go find Jerry, bro. Starting the second half, we're down 17-7. It's not looking so good. There's a lot of hype in the Niners to win this game, Vegas-wise. Oh, we just got a big first down. Big first down. Yeah, Ross Dwelly. Third string tight end. Right, Riley's mad. She's mad when she goes, Dad, we're down 10 points. But we just got the ball at the half. Maybe we go down the field, score a little touchdown here, swing a little momentum. Maybe. Maybe. All right, I'm back. We're still down 10, but we got a nice drive coming right out of the half. We got the ball back. Kind of going right down the field a little bit right now. So we you hope this ends well. We, we hope this back. ends well. Well, I did say we got the ball back, but now we just gained like 50 yards in three plays. So I'm giving them a little update because I'm excited and I got nobody else to talk to unless you want to come sit by me and talk to me about the Niners going to win this game. What do you think? What do you think? Maybe. Maybe? All right. I said maybe. You should come snuggle with me and watch the game. Run and play. Maybe lost like eight, nine yards. That's not, not lost a nine. You better not be bad luck. You better not be jinxing me right now. Camera, IWTV. Oh, come on, Nikki Mullins. Let's go. Let's go. Catch. Ah. Oh, throw flag. That looked like a little horse collar. How many points is that? It's not any points. But made the first down a little more possible here on this one. Definitely made the field goal an option. Yeah, I, I don't know. Who's your favorite 49er? I don't know. I don't even know if he's still in the 49ers. I will name somebody. I'll tell you if they're still on the team. I don't know. You don't know any 49er names? Oh, I'm disappointed in you. No? <laughs> no flag? The NFL hates us, bro. We know no flags. We never get a flag. Never get a call. And they're not supposed to say that, but it's true. It's true. Fourth and 12, as soon as yeah, I turn this right camera on, suck now. the life right out of a team. Now we're gonna maybe hopefully kick this field goal. So if they miss this field goal, I'm gonna turn this camera off. Cause you're bad luck. If they make this field goal, you can stick around and watch me stress through this game. Can you grill me a cheeseburger? No. no. I don't even know how to use the grill. You know how to use the grill? It's cold Did I ever teach you anything? I have now teach you how to use the grill. It is cold outside. It. It's a beautiful night though. The stars are out, they're twinkling. Watch. Did you go out and see the stars? Clap, clap, cha cha cha. Yo, can you put your Niner shirt back on, bro? No. What? I'll put it on. All right, give it to Riley. Riley can wear it. Come on, bro. They need your help. Do you know that for every person that wears their shirt, they get good luck? So they get good luck if you put your shirt on. 
Go put yours up. Go put your own. Don't get him all fired up. Go get your Jimmy G shirt. Uh, I think that's I'll see if it fits. Alright, give me a kiss. I love you. Did you hurt your toe? Love you, kiddo. Little Bud Light Seltzer here today. These are the best. Way better than White Claws. Bud Light Seltzer is number one. Proud sponsor of the XFL. Which, by the way, was great. I don't know if any of you guys watch the XFL, but it was fantastic. Sorry COVID ruined it. But then, who comes in? Saves the day. Gonna bring it back in a couple years? The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. About to save the XFL. Get him. Get him. Nah, they got it. I got the first day. That's nice. Yo, this kid's the imposter all the time. I never get to be the imposter. Every time I talk to him, I'm the imposter dad killing people. Dad, do you want to play? You want to come sit with me? We'll both play? Yeah, yeah after my round, you can do it. Well, can I? I'm going to kill somebody, though. Good dad. Just what? Just what? what I tell them, it's white. What's white? And that one. Oh, okay. Tell them it's white. I got a flashlight on. Let me get a little light in here. Niners game still on. Little man over there, sound asleep with his bear bear. See his bear bear over there. Well, that's one of the moments, man. When your kids are laying there asleep, you appreciate, you realize how lucky you are to be a parent when you're laying there calm, not you know driving you crazy, being a pain in your butt. But it's an amazing thing. There's one thing you take from watching this, from watching me this week. I love being a dad. Being a dad's not for everybody, right? You gotta you gotta accept that responsibility. You gotta want that responsibility. You gotta put everything you got into that responsibility. And for me, like, has it slowed down wrestling-wise for me? Yeah, big time. Um, you know, I can't be out there as much as as much as I'd like to be. Uh, but to me, that's worth it. The gamble, you know, whether you make it in wrestling, whether you don't, like, that's a tough gamble to make. And parenthood, is, you, can, you can make parenthood happen. You just got to want to do it. So if I don't ever make it, you know, wrestling-wise, oh, Niners just stopped a big third to one. It's going to be a long field goal. But if I don't ever make it wrestling-wise, dude, yeah, that sucks. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, that'd be awesome. Be on AEW, be on WWE, WrestleMania, all this that stuff be awesome. Did I work hard enough to be there? In my mind, yeah, I did. But if that doesn't ever happen for me, you better believe, and I'm not saying this to be cheesy or corny or whatever, but you better believe I'm going to be happy as shit just being a dad to these two wonderful kids I got. I got the greatest wife in the world, man. I'm lucky. I got a wife supports me, family supports me, and these kids I got are amazing. You've seen that this week. Um, hopefully you've seen that. But my fairy tale is going to end happy with a smile one way or another. Whether that's with wrestling, whether that's without wrestling. Because I got what I got. And that's his family. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche. five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything.